Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Marisha from Marisha's Kitchen Cake. And guess what? It's our mom and I'm back. And we're gonna do an awesome test kitchen for you guys. Today we're gonna be testing Auntie Anne's pretzels and, and more. Homemade baking kit. Auntie Anne's got its start in 1988 when Auntie Anne's Baylor brought a stand in the Pennsylvania farmer's market. I know, that's right. That's all I've got to say. A huge bag of their mix, the dough mix. Mm -hmm. Is this cinnamon sugar? Oh, that's what it looks like, yeah. And some salt. Mm -hmm. Here's the dry yeast. So it's literally all, it looks like so far stuff that you could easily buy. Right. This is baking soda and the directions. I'm gonna need those. Yes, we're gonna need those. I guess we should get a mixing bowl up in here and situate it. Dissolving the active dry yeast pack and a quarter, uh, one and a quarter cups of lukewarm water. I would say make sure that that water is between 105 and 114 degrees because after that you'll kill all the yeast and nothing will rise. Yeah. It doesn't say that, Auntie Anne didn't say that. <laughs> then we'll let it sit for two minutes, mix until the ball forms, knead that dough ball. On a lightly floured oh. surface yeah. for five to seven minutes. Or in your mixer for five to seven minutes, okay. that's what I'll be doing. Okay. 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 That was a lot. I can't wait. So Auntie Anne told us to get our KitchenAid mixer out. And we're gonna use that instead of doing this by hand. I have my dough hook on there. It is best to spray your dough hook with non-stick spray or oil. And I've already put in the dry yeast. And now we're gonna add the lukewarm water, the one and a quarter cups of water. So it's alive. It's gonna start getting all nasty and foamy. It's gonna stink a little bit. And oh, that wow. means that you're doing the right thing. Oh, okay. Now we're going to add Auntie Anne's dough mixture. Really? Yep. Using the dough hook, we're gonna knead all of this until it turns into a ball. Our dough has been kneading for about five minutes, and you can do that in the mixer. You're just gonna shape it into a ball, mm -hmm. like that. Put it in a greased bowl, and then flip it over. Grease is just. Just this oil really or nonstick, whatever you use to, you know. And then now that it's greased on both sides, we can cover it in plastic wrap. And this will be left to sit and rise for 30 minutes in a warm spot. Now I'm going to make a delicious cream cheese pumpkin filling for some of the pretzels. I have a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of pumpkin, some cream cheese, some sugar, and some allspice. I'm just going to mash all that together and then put it in a sandwich baggie for a piping bag. Now I'm going to lightly oil my surface down. My dough has doubled in size. It looks amazing. And I'm going to pull this thing out onto my greased surface. To feel like a certified pretzel maker, I'm going to use a pizza cutter to cut my pieces away from the dough. Now, you're going to roll it out into a rope, okay? Make sure that it's nice and greased on your surface, and then you, you do that. Or, you know how they do it in the stores when they like toss it up and then it twirls? And then they just go whoop, and then it's like done? Nailed it! And then you just put that aside onto like some wax paper. And then there I go again, trying to make it work. When in doubt, go the other route. That's what I always say. Now, I'm going to start filling some of these pretzels. Just roll it out, make it nice and flat. And then just start piping some of the filling in there. And just be mindful that you do have to close it, so you do need to make enough room on the edges to make it nice and closed. Instead of separating it like I thought that I would, I thought I was going to make like three little pieces, I just decided to do some little funky thing and just twist it and make like a little twisty pumpkin pretzel stick. Delicious. Here's another one that's filled. I just said, okay, I'm going to twist it, then I'm going to cut it in half. It's going to be tasty. This is just like a twisty on a twisty. It looks great. And this is a simple braid, like anybody could do this. You just stick the three strands of dough together and then you just braid it and it's gorgeous. I cut this um, long braid in half. 
Here's another one of my twisty knockoff um, pretzel maker things. This is my little Danish twirl and this one is filled with pumpkin. Now here's the water, it's not supposed to be boiling. I put the baking soda in there and Auntie didn't tell me how long to uh, put these pretzels in this water. So I thought that I should just soak them. Little did I know, you're supposed to just literally dip it and then take it out. Okay, so here are some pretzels that just got out the oven. At first they looked all crusty and busted and I got a little bit worried. But then I realized that Auntie wanted us to put butter on top of the pretzels. So once I did that, they got all moist and looked all pretty like this. <gasps> There's Auntie, I see her now. I wasn't recognizing her for a second. I'm gonna grab one from the reject. Well, these aren't really rejects, but you know, they're not as pretty. Does this have pumpkin in it? No. This reject does. Mmm. Oh snap. Oh snap, Auntie. These are so good. Auntie almost burnt my pretzels though because the box says 10 minutes and then you rotate and do another 10 minutes. After 8 minutes, they all look like this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have more coming out. Oh, it smells so good in here. I can like open up my own little Auntie hands from my kitchen. Ooh, I know. I would say for this test kitchen, Auntie is definitely a winner. Um, these taste just like Auntie Anne's pretzels, and I would know I've had them my entire life. Especially the more butter that you put on them, because they do put a lot of butter on theirs. They're delicious, they're soft, they're fluffy and buttery, and they're really, really, really good. You can do anything with them. So I definitely would recommend the Auntie Anne's pretzel. Pretzels and more home baking. No, okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, if I missed something, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys soon. Couture and then Auntie and pretzels and more. By the way, Mommy had to go, but she sends her love. She'll see you guys soon. Bye.